Well, let's cross live to Westminster now and our reporter Caroline Faraday. Um, Caroline, campaigners who are opposed to the selective system in Kent, they basically say they're not surprised there are so many schools failing in the area. They do indeed. Ed Balls has well and truly opened a can of worms by suggesting that grammar schools are not an excuse for failing other schools in Kent. Well, Stop the 11 Plus, a campaign group that aims to do, well, exactly that, says they're not surprised that they think the current system is a disgrace and that it fails pupils. They say that it provides the minimum standard and that they welcome the education advisers coming. They say they don't hold out much hope, however, that it will improve things. It has to improve things. In short, if those schools don't come up to scratch, then they run the risk of being closed and reopened as independent academies. Well, we spoke to Kent County Council today. They say that they are confident that the current education system works. Of course it's disappointing that some schools remain in National Challenge, but some have come out. Some re results in the National Challenge schools have been gone up 20 which are still in National Challenge, and we'll be working very hard to get them out of National Challenge. So Kent's been singled out for criticism from the government, but there's actually been praise for East Sussex. Yes, there has. East Sussex and just one other county have been singled out by the government for praise for their national challenge schools. That's the, cha that's the name for the government scheme where they focus on getting schools above that floor target of 30%. All the schools in East Sussex have reached that target. Caroline, thank you.